Mmm. -hmm. Nothing better than pineapple upside down pancakes for breakfast. Maraschino cherries, pineapple, brown sugar, pancake mix, and blackstone griddle. Go ahead and lay down some butter before you put the pancakes on. You want it on low heat because you don't want the pancakes to burn. You don't want the butter to scorch. So we're going to get the first round of pancakes laid down here. The next step is you've battered your pineapples up with brown sugar. Put a cherry in the middle. Space them apart so that they don't get... When you pour the pancake batter over the top of them, they don't uh, meet each other in the middle and make one big fat pancake. Put the cherries in the middle, and I'm still on the lowest heat setting possible. Okay, you let the uh, pineapples cook for about two minutes, not too much, you don't want them to scorch. You pour your batter on top of the pineapples and let it turn into a pancake and then flip it once and let it cook on the other side and you're ready to eat. Now what we have here is some really happy pancake batter that swallowed up those pineapples and cherries and have turned into a delicious pancake that's done on one side and you can tell because the bubbles when they pop they don't run which means the other side is done. You see the bubbles coming out, the gas is coming out. They're done on one side. We're about to flip them over and see what they look like on the other side. I need a better pancake flipper. Oop, that don't look done. Oh, I need a bigger pancake flipper. That one tore all the pieces. We'll let it go for just a little bit longer. Look at that. Pineapple, cherry, pancake batter. Yum, yum. We put a little bit of butter. Butter right here in the middle of the pancake. So we flip it. Pineapple does tend to make it harder to flip. Those got a little more done than I'd like for them to. We'll turn it back down on low. Let them cook on that side for about 30 seconds and we're going to go chow down with some I wish I had some coconut syrup from Hawaii. That was the best tasting stuff we've ever had but we'll be happy with maple syrup. And this my friends is Pineapple upside down pancakes on the plate about to be in my belly. Mmm, good food. Good groceries, as Hungry Hussy says. All right, there it is on my plate with maple syrup on top. And we are about to find out if they're as good as they look or not. Thank you, Mrs. Butterworths. It tasted just like pineapple upside down cake, even though the texture of the pancake was a little fluffier and lighter than a cake would be. The flavor was exactly the same. Brown sugar, pineapples, cherries, pancake mix, butter, and maple syrup. I still think pancake syrup from Hawaii would have been better, but Oh well, we'll suffer. Mmm, boy, that was good. The only sad thing is there's no leftovers. But that was good. One quick pro tip. Let your pineapples cook for about three minutes on one side. Then flip the pineapples over before you put your cherries in and then pour the pancake batter on top of the uh, freshly flipped over pineapple 
and that way the pineapple gets to cook evenly on both sides before you smother it in pancake batter. That's the only thing I would correct. Good stuff.